हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर वेनो दिवसे एंड आई एम कमिंग विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज डिफरेंट न्यूमेरिकल मेथड इन दिस वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल एंड वन बाय वन ऑल मेथड्स दैट इज फाइनाइट एलिमेंट मेथड फाइनाइट डिफरेंस मेथड फाइनाइट वॉल्यूम मेथड एंड लास्ट वन दैट इज बाउंड्री एलिमेंट मेथड सो बी रेडी गाइज वंस अगेन गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट एज आई सेड this is our today's topic that is different numerical methods now what are the difference method that is fm method then finite difference method then boundary element method and finite volume method so before comparing that finite element method with finite difference method then boundary element method and further finite volume method so in this lecture we are going to discuss finite difference method so before going to start that fdm means finite difference method now first we discuss finite difference and interpolation actually finite difference nothing but equal space aur ye topic hum maths mein already pad chuke hain nothing but bana actually actually finite difference nothing but equal space and this topic we already learned in mathematics subject so equal space means agar ek value yahan pe 1 hai yahan pe 2 hai yahan pe 3 hai matlab difference jo aa raha 1 aur 2 ke beech mein common difference 1 hai 2 aur 3 ke beech mein common difference 3 minus 2 nothing but 1 aur yahan pe 3 hai aur yahan pe 4 hai to 4 minus 3 that is common difference 1 so equal space means x x plus h x plus to h x plus 3 h dash 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 up to x plus n h so there are three types of differences first that is forward second backward and third one is central difference so we mostly use forward difference like x x plus h then x plus 2 h then x plus 3 h so now we will see how fdm works guys see this figure in this you can observe that the plate is divided into the number of finite parts that is called discretization as we discussed element and nodes that are in this figure so square or rectangular parts are called element and in this the point are indicated by the circle that is called node so in fdm or fem also we have to first discretize the body and the basic difference in working phenomena of this two method so this fdm methods work from one point to another point that is from one node to another node means whatever the equation we generate that we are forming only and only for these nodes whereas in case of fem the interpolation function or you can say shape function so connects the area between these two nodes between these two nodes if you look at this structure there is a straight line so means in fdm from this node to this node this node to this node and directly to this node means whatever the points are there there we have to apply approximating function so this way fdm works now fdm versus fem so fdm makes point wise approximation to the governing equation that is it ensures continuity only at node points and continuity along the side of the grid lines are not ensures but in fem it makes piece wise approximation that is it ensures the continuity at node points as well as along the side of the element so in the fdm we are moving this point to this point that is from node 1 to another node so during this motion we are not explaining what is the behavior of this edge of element but in case of fdm by using the approximating function or blending or the shape function that ensure the continuity along the edge also so whatever the gap whatever the distance between these two nodes 
that has been covered or taken care by approximating function or f function but in case of fdm this is not possible but fdm is also one of the method for carrying out the analysis so this is being applied in cfd analysis but carrying out the structural analysis fdm is best suitable and one more thing fdm is larger number of nodes to get the better result while fdm needs fewer nodes come to the conclusion fdm is better than the classical method so the next method that we use that is finite volume method in book we called as a control volume method so in finite difference method that is fdm we actually use value at every node we use value for example at this node and this node and this node anyways that's we do that is fdm approach so we calculate sometimes temperature at any point with respect to it. there is delta t by del x so but in finite volume method instead of doing at each node like uh, that we uh, see in the fdm method so in fvm method means in finite volume method we actually use entire section okay so then we calculate flux across that section and we use the value of one is for the next stage so nice thing about this method means uh, finite volume method is there anything you losing at one side that you can gain other one then last boundary element method it is a very powerful and efficient technique to solve acoustic and that is noise vibration and harness problems so just like finite element method it also requires nodes and elements but as the name suggests it consider only the outer boundary of the domain because the method is boundary element method so we consider only the outer boundary domain